Hey guys, welcome to video number four. All right, in video number four, uh, what you guys are going to be learning is remember I mentioned about the um, the elements of a polygonal model, all right? Which is the vertex, edge, and uh, face or polygon is the same name, face or polygons, all right? Which is the field inside here. So we're going to be uh, learning the tools on how to manipulate this to create whatever we want all right so back in 3d studio max um, let's exercise and get to know the tools uh, by creating a box all right so i'm going to create a, a cube i mean a box like this oh i have my snap turned on make sure you have your snap turned off so create a box and if you want to change the settings uh, can alt w mix maximize the view and if i want to change the cube to be an equal cube i can go to the modify tab uh, i can name this as a test box so i can rename that now the box is a test box uh, then i can change the length let's say i put it to 800 by 800 by 800 now in this model here um you see there is this one big uh you know like one big polygon faces here all right and i want to add more to that surface okay so go to the uh, segment length seg segs mean uh, segments so i can put more see if i put three i go put three by three by three okay all right there you go now i have more polygons divided on one single uh, box all right so the next uh, stage that we're going to do is uh, how to access the vertex edge and face so to do that you need to convert this into an editable poly okay all right convert this into an editable poly uh, model or object so how do you do that is right click on that model okay and then you see convert to uh, these are the type of conversion that you can do you can convert to NURBS, editable patch deformable g poly editable mesh so what you usually want to convert to is editable editable poly so convert it to editable poly and then the next thing you see here now is no longer a box name and now it's an editable poly and all the settings here already changed the content at um, down here is already changed all right now if you open the plus sign here you will get access to the elements right so if you hit if you choose vertex then if you notice i think this is a bad example for the blue color so i'm going to change the the color here for a while to a different color so by clicking at the this box color here and change to let's say green hit okay okay now if i go down to vertex the next thing you'd see is now this vertex starts to be visible now you can see all these points that is meeting together or you know bind by the edges that is meeting up together all right so what you can do with this is you can actually uh, select the 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 vertex all right and you can use the manipulation tool the move rotate and scale and actually start modifying the shapes see how that works you can rotate it right i can scale the selected vertex so what you're seeing here um, the selected vertex or vertices it will be shown as red color while the unselected one is a blue color all right now let's move on to the edge 
so you can select that line you can use the move to I can move it up and down I can do whatever I want with that all right I can use that manipulation to sculpt or shapes my my model I can also select multiple edges by holding the control key and just pick selection on the one I want and then just move it like that okay now next one is the polygon which is the faces over here I can select and move it same like the other two elements right and I can select multiple if I want and move it around now you will see there are other two extra over here which is the, the border and the elements but don't worry about that for now just ignore these two these are not part of the elements these are something additional uh, that 3d max have it has its advantage uh, if you know how to use it but for now just focus on the vertex edge and polygon now the shortcut to access this without clicking at this uh, command menu menu here you can always uh, use the number on your keyboard which number one is for vertex see if i go back up here editable poly if i hit number one it will access vertex number two will be h three will be border four will be polygon and five is the element so yeah you can work really fast changing from different mode by not having your mouse go over there all right okay so once now that you know how to manipulate this for example all right um, you can do a lot of things with it all right so I'm going to introduce you uh, to the tools that is import that is very important or essential to use uh, for your interior design modeling okay the first one uh, we're going to tackle a lot of tools can find it down here these are all the tools there's so much there right okay um, no worry about that so I'm gonna pinpoint to you the most used tool that you know you that you always uh, use into your, I mean for your project okay we're gonna start with the uh, polygon okay so each uh, tools are similar and different at the same time uh, based on which mode you are accessing the vertex the edge the polygon so i'm go going to teach you or i'm going to show you the tools inside the polygon first so make sure you're in the polygon mode and then um, i want you to just hide all this just unstack other things that is not necessary let's uh, let's just unstack everything first all right so you see there's so much category here but usually what you want is the first one selection you want to see that you also want to see edit polygons and down here you also want edit geometry that's all the rest are not important for you right now okay just this short menu here but if the menu is too long for you to scroll up and down what you can do is you can double this panel by if you put your mouse at the edge here you can click and drag the menu you can have three if you want four if you <laughs> if you feel like to if you have a, a, a wide enough screen but for me two should be enough so I don't have to scroll up and down I can access whatever I want here all right so now the tool that I the first tool that I will show you here is uh, the under the polygon which is extrude all right you can find under edit polygons category extrude over here now if i click i must select my uh, faces first or polygons so hit con control and select these two what extrude can do is it will extend that surface that selected polygon surface so if i hit extrude and if i put my mouse here you'll notice the mouse change which i can click and drag and apply extrusion like that 
Isn't that cool? Right? Okay, so I'm going to undo that. Control Z. So what I can also do is instead of doing it manually like this, interactively just drag it like that, I can also click at the extrude buttons on the side here. It's the settings for the extrude. As you can see, some other, some other tools have those settings also, except for some tools like flip and all that. All right. So let's click on that instead. Now what you you get is this nifty list little gizmo here. You can put your mouse at the title here and click and drag and put it somewhere else if you want. Somewhere comfortable. And you see it's already extruded, but you can also adjust the length that you want by click and hold your mouse at this arrow here at the value here value arrow just click and drag and push your mouse front and back interactively interactively to move to move it or to extend it now if you want an accurate extrusion you can type a number here let's see i want to extrude to 500 millimeter hit enter then i get this length is 500 okay if you want to continue ex extruding Without going out and apply again, you can hit the plus button down here. This will then, uh, let me just try that again. Hit plus button here. All right, sorry about that. I don't know why it doesn't work. But now I get another 500. Okay, if I want to uh, cancel it, I can hit the X. Then it cancels. So if I hit the settings again, I can hit the uh, right here, the OK. This will get it out. All right. Okay. Uh, let's try and see whether this is really 500 millimeter or not. You can turn on the snap. You can go to the tools, measure distance, uh, measure from one to another vertex. Then you get that stated there as let's try that again uh, tools measure distance all right there you go uh, just just suddenly move away but you can see over there the moment I I hit the measure distance you see down there it's stated distance 500 millimeter right Okay, so that is extrude. Now, the next tool um, that I want to show you here is the bevel. Okay, so bevel is just like extrude, but you can do a little bit more to it. Okay, so let's say I'm going to select this face to, uh, sorry, not that one. I'm going to select this two. I'm gonna hold control to select to select the another faces. <coughs> all right then hit on the bevel i'm going to select the settings so what i can do here is i can adjust the extension to however i want and then i can also scale the faces that is selected at, down here that is what bevel is all about okay if i want to do something like this it's quite handy right then hit OK that's bevel so extrude then the next one is bevel right now the the third one still inside the polygon tools is uh, what I call is the inset inset is very good if you want to do like a window frames for your interior okay for example here I'm gonna show you how you can create a window kind of like holes or some kind of indentation on this part here so I can select this face sorry uh, hold control select these faces and then go inset settings adjust the value see what it does is it duplicates but it doesn't move front or back it's like a 
bevel a little bit but it doesn't actually push it front or back like this one so let's say I want it something like this and I hit OK then with the help of combination of extrude so I'm going to use extrude now instead of pushing outwards I can push it it inwards and hit OK now I have the object already uh, you know inserted on the wall this is quite quite use useful okay all right so the next one all right this you will use it a lot which is the let's see the uh, slice plane okay slice plane is very very important if you wanna add additional uh, edges here let's say all around this edge I want to add that extra uh, edges there so what I can do is I can hold control and select the edges I want let's say up until here and I want to you, but it only works on where you select if you use the slice plane which is over here in the polygon mode all right you also have slice plane in the vertex and and edge but it works differently but for for, for for polygon you have to select the polygon then it will only apply on that selected polygons so okay so I'm gonna click the I'm gonna active the slice plane okay you you will see this yellow line here this is the plane it will it will kind of like cut through but right now it is just below that selected um, faces po or polygons so what I can do is I can move it manually by using the move tool All right and then just drag it up as you can see when it enters that area you start to see an additional edge is being created but it's still not final yet until if you like confirm you want to cut that then you can hit the slice button here then only you will actually slice and add that extra edges okay so I'm gonna click here slice one time and then turn it off then I have my additional uh, I can double click on the can go to the edge mode I can double click on this edge it will automatically select a loop of that edge see this is the one that I just created by using the slice plane all right now the the next one that I'm going to show you here is uh, quite cool you you will be using this in your project um, but I need two objects in order to make it work okay so I need to go back out okay so uh, another important thing to know is that once you click down here you can't go out you see like I can't click outside right oh no how let's see how do I make get out of this cannot right because the moment you click or you go to any of the elements down here you you are locked to that so if you want to go back out you have to click at the name editable poly to go back out then you can click off and unselect the object and then select other objects okay all right Another common problem that uh, people usually face is uh, they accidentally tap the spacebar. Okay, it will enable this one selection lock toggle. Um, selection lock toggles is really a pain in the ass right now because see, I can't also click outside and I am bound to just this, right? 
See, I'm just bound to whatever this is. So if you face some sort of weird um, error like this, it's because just check the uh, selection lock toggle down here. It might be enabled. So you need to tap the space bar again to turn it off. Okay. So yeah, remember that this lock selection tools. It's a pain in the ass. Make sure it's always unlocked. All right. Now, I, so uh, yeah, again, so the the next tool I'm going to show you is uh, I need two objects uh, to be combined it together. So I will select or go to create create panel here, create uh, a a box. All right. So as you know, this this is a uh, two different uh, box here. All right, and see let's just match that height a bit okay something like that so I can actually make them uh, not grouping this is uh, attaching them together so that it so that it become one object so how to do that is go to the the model that is already editable poly and in the modify tab uh, you can find the attach button here even when you're at the at the uh, editable poly level you'll see the attach button you can click that and then choose the one you want to attach which is this model over here so click on it see it become green color you can click it back to get out of that tools and now it is one model it's not grouping it is really making this model as part of this uh, the, the test box model All right so now I'm going to show you the, the tool that I mentioned uh, that I want to show you the tool is called I, I'm still under the polygon mode uh, it is called the bridge all right but for this you have to select hook control and select these two I mean these three faces and then select let's say these three faces so it needs a matching faces so that it can actually bridge so I can actually link these two make a bridge out of it all right so I can just click the, the name bridge and it will bridge it I will undo that let's say if I click or choose the option beside the bridge there you go I got so many things that I can do here now I can uh, add more segment in between all right uh, which, which is adding more edge loops here all right I can uh, do other things like making it slim or making it fat all right or you call it a tapering uh, I can also I don't know what just leave it as default. All right. Uh, yeah, you can play with this one here. Oh, look at that! It's alive, All right? Since this is a bias, and this one is to twist. This is a second twist. Uh, I think you better not twist that. And then yeah, hit OK. So now this both model is bridged together. You will use this later on. When you want to like uh, close two walls together and make a, a door in between that you see that later in our uh, actual interior design uh, modeling okay now uh, let's move on to the uh, the the tools that you can find under the H the H uh, is not so much you, that, that is uh, important what you use is uh, basically the uh, cut tools see, 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 you'll see a cut tools here which allows you to uh, cut freely edges that you want right click to exit it right click again to really get out of the tools Right, see, so yeah, I'm manually adding that edged, but sometimes you have to be careful, sometimes it doesn't really snap to that edges, uh, you know. So that's the tools. Usually, you use the vertex mode to uh, tweak the shapes of your model. All right, so the next, uh, yeah, just one important tool that you will you might use is the target weld. So target weld under the vertex is let's say you want to 
uh, weld these two which is merging these two vertex you can actually use the target weld so when you click on this you have to click first vertex and then the next one where you want it to to merge so let's say this I want to merge with this one click that it merge itself so again still doing it as long as I haven't right click on anywhere here it is still active I can just keep on doing it and now I already fixed my topology the edge flow here so right click to get out of that and that's how you use the target well okay um, let's move on to the tools under the edge mode all right so the edge mode so the first one I want to show you is um, the slice plane um, actually works same you select the slice plane you choose which angle and let's say you want to cut that you just click slice and then it is actually slicing the plane without selecting the polygon you know when you use slice plane in polygon you have to it only apply on the selected polygon but in in edge mode it's not like that you can just use slice plane and just straight away cut it and hit slice and then get out of that and then it, it cuts itself all right so that slice plane on edge mode all right uh, you also have cut tools which is the same you can cut it wherever you want right click on that now that edge is selected I mean it's, it's cut already uh, yeah you can use target weld to let's see I don't think it works yeah I don't know why it doesn't work <coughs> target weld yeah target weld doesn't work with that I don't know why it's there all right um, the next big thing about oh yeah I want to show you how to remove let's say if I remove an edge here let's say I don't want this this is an error I can hold uh, Z I uh, mean control and select these two and then I want to remove it if I hit delete on the keyboard it will just remove even the faces itself so don't do that so what so what you need to do is you need to hit on the remove tool here all right or equal to hitting backspace if I hit remove here it will remove I undo that or I can I know shortcut key is backspace that will remove it but you have to be careful whenever you remove an edge the vertex that is created is still there if I choose go to vertex you see that vertex is still there so you should select that vertex and backspace again that will remove it or hit the remove button here okay okay going back to edge mode uh, yeah the next one is chamfering so chamfering is very good to if you want to soften the edges here I can if I double click on this edge hold control and double click the bottom one this one hold control double click on this one so now I'm selecting a whole you call it an edge loop it goes round and around again so what I can do now is I can use the chamfer tool I can manually use it apply it on that edge click and drag your mouse alright we'll kinda do the work alright but if you don't like that you can just undo that and then choose the settings for ch for the chamfer okay this will allows you to give uh, allows you to get more control like how many distance you want to chamfer it and I can also add segment in between that you see now I have kind of like have more Got four three this is three and uh, this one is a different story Let's just put about 30 so just uh, hit ok all right so that will chamfer the corner so if I go back out to editable poly and unselect my model so now the the edges are li a little bit more softer 
alright so you use chamfer for that or let's say if I want to chamfer these edges so I double click and select all that I can use chamfer settings adjust the chamfering a little bit and hit OK and there you go alright so it's a bit chamfered there so that's chamfering in the edge mode tools next one I'm going to show you is uh, the bridged in the edge mode okay let's say I have this polygon deleted alright so I think I choose this one alright so let's see this two no sorry this two I want to close it back so how do I close this hole back I can go to my edge mode select hold control and select this two edge alright and then I can use the uh, I can select another set of edge here so that it's meeting up together and I can use the bridge tool click the settings and bridge it but I don't want four segments so I just put it to one alright then hit OK there you go the hole is covered back so that's how you can use a uh, bridge tool inside the edge elements the edge mode all right the next one that I'm going to show you is this is the last one thank God all right is a connect tool you see a connect you can find a connect tool down here under the edge mode uh, what you can do with that is let's say if I want to add a loop of H here I can click this one hold shift and then double click on the next one here this allow me to select the whole row or if I can also adjust my view like this and just select like that but make sure that edges is selected okay I can just go hold control and just click one by one if you have the patient can just click it like that hold control and just select that edge all right and I can use the connect tool if I click on the settings see I'm adding one more loop here I can add more if I want to I can pinch it I can adjust this I can slide it and hit OK so now I'm adding more segment there <coughs> this is very useful so that's about it uh, the essential one the essential modeling tools that you're going to be using uh, later on for your interior design modeling so I see you guys in video number five so I see you guys in video number five uh, have a good day bye bye